In this video, I will show you how T-Hub software connects to your Miva Merchant web store and helps you integrate with QuickBooks, shipping services, and inventory management. Let's start with the T-Hub software. After you install T-Hub on your computer, you need to click on My Online Store, and this is where you add connection to your Miva Merchant store. I have already set up a test connection, so let me show you the details. This is where you enter your Miva Merchant web store connection and the details for connection is described in this link right here. Once you have set up the connection to your Miva Merchant store, you need to set up connection to your QuickBooks. You need to open QuickBooks as an admin user of QuickBooks and in this QuickBooks company file, you enter the QuickBooks file name to connect with your QuickBooks. Once you have connected to your Miva Merchant Store and your QuickBooks, the next thing you need to do is to set up your preferences in T-Hub. And all the preferences are laid out in this one screen where you set up preferences for QuickBooks, your shipping services. So for QuickBooks, uh, you define how you want to post orders into QuickBooks. You can post as sales receipts or invoices. You can mark the invoices as paid. You can uh, set up how customers are created in QuickBooks. You define a naming scheme for customers. You define how you want to handle items sold from your Miva Merchant Store into QuickBooks. If the items are not in QuickBooks, you can let T-Hub create the items in QuickBooks or it can prompt you so you can do a mapping between your website and QuickBooks. The next step is to define uh, how you record shipping charges. This is where you select an item name from QuickBooks to record shipping charges. The next step is to record sales tax. So if you charge sales tax on the website, T-Hub can help you record that in QuickBooks as a taxable item in QuickBooks. There are some other settings that you define. Uh, you can assign the template that you want to use in QuickBooks. You can define a class if you have classes defined in QuickBooks, so it can help you track sales by different channels so that completes the quickbooks uh, part of the settings you can go into shipping and set up if you want to ship from t-hub what shipping carriers do you want to uh, do you support you can enable ups online fedex online or uh, usps through indicia or stamps.com and for each shipping uh, provider you go into this um, uh, shipping provider and enter some defaults for relevant for that shipping provider. Um, so here I have test UPS account set up uh, with defaults. I have uh, FedEx online set up with defaults and uh, Indicia label server set up uh, with defaults. The other thing to note is you can also set T-Hub to send tracking to your Mevo merchant store uh, by checking this box. It will send, once you ship from T-Hub, it will send the tracking and order status as shipped to your Miva Merchant Store. Once you have all the settings completed, you can go to process orders. You can go into this process order screen. This is where uh, you would go on a daily basis to process your orders. Uh, you need to click on this download orders link to download orders from your Miva Merchant Store into T-Hub. Your new orders from your website will appear on this screen. If you want to ship the orders, you can select one or more orders here. And uh, let's say we want to ship with FedEx. You click on the ship with FedEx. And here it'll show you all the orders selected for shipping. If you have the default weights will come from the website, you can obviously override the weights and uh, you click on get rates. This will get all the available rates for the packages you're uh, going to ship. For each order, you can select the shipping method that you want to use. And when you're ready, you click on generate label. This will uh, go through the list and generate all the shipping labels for the selected orders. T-Hub can actually print the shipping label and the packing list on the same sheet of paper. So order fulfillment becomes that much easier. Uh, in this case, we had two orders selected and I printed shipping labels. So it printed two labels with the uh, packing list and once you print the labels it will automatically send the tracking to the website and if you notice the ship status will change to published that means the tracking was sent to the website and the customer was notified and the order was marked as shipped on the website to send orders to quickbooks you can select one or more orders from the screen and you click on this post to quickbooks icon that will go through your posting preferences for quickbooks and it will post the orders in quickbooks and the posting status here will change to green 
if it goes through successfully. Once the posting status turns green, you can actually double click on the posting status and it will tell you the transaction it created in QuickBooks. You can double click on the transaction number and it will open up the transaction from within your QuickBooks. So this created an invoice in QuickBooks for your online order coming from Mevo Merchant Store. Now TF can also manage inventory between QuickBooks and Mevo Merchant. For that you go to product upload and sync to website. So on this screen hub shows you all your items from your quickbooks item list these are the items loaded from your from my quickbooks item list you can select one or more items from here and click on add selected products to web store this will upload the products to your mevo merchant store then you can go to your mevo merchant admin and fill in more details for the products before you make the products live so let's go to mevo merchant admin page and uh, look up those products. So TF created those products here. You can go to edit and you can fill in more details. All the price information and the name and the description will come from QuickBooks predefined. You can just fill in more details like images and uh, then make the product live for your customers. This is for creating new products on the website from QuickBooks. You can also have T-Hub update quantity changes from QuickBooks to website. So if you run out of some product uh, in your QuickBooks, it can mark the quantity as zero on the website. And if you get your uh, item supply from your vendors in QuickBooks, it will update the quantity on the website. There are some options that you can set up here for updating quantity and price. You can say just update quantity on the website from QuickBooks, or you can say update quantity and price on website. So just to recap, T-Hub does three main things. Number one, it would uh, bring orders from your Mevo Merchant Store into QuickBooks based on your settings. Uh, it helps you print shipping labels with UPS, FedEx, and US Postal. And it also manages inventory sync between QuickBooks and your Mevo Merchant Store. If you happen to sell on other marketplaces like Amazon and eBay, you can also connect those additional channels through the same T-Hub interface so your order processing workflow remains the same. And with that, hope that video was helpful. Happy selling.